everyone this is going to be a really quick video because the light is fading really fast and um <laughs> basically i can't find any other decent light in the house apart from my bedroom so um yeah this is going to be a really rushed video and i can only apologize for that but i'm going to be doing my november empties i this is Andy and Betty's Christmas gift on there, but it's not. Um, yeah, these are my November empties and I keep them in this little A to Z bag. So I'm just, most of these are actually hair products and I only have a few, so it won't take very long to get through them anyway. But I do have um, McLean's whitening toothpaste, apparently. I didn't put this in there. Maybe Dave thinks that it's now the rubbish bin for the bathroom. But yeah, this is empty, and as far as toothpaste go, I'm sure it was great. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I don't know what that's doing in there. Thanks for that, baby. Um, right, okay, so to start with, we have two of these Full Repair by John Frieda Deep Conditioner Masks. Mm, and they've got, like, goo all around them. Um, there's a little bit left in that one. I basically, the story behind these was Dave was going up to town and he said, do you want anything? And I said, can you get me some deep conditioner, please? Thinking that he'd bring me back like a sachet. He bought me back these because he'd been conned by the super drug girls into getting these because I think they were like two for seven pound at the time or something like that. And basically, um, these are intense repairing formula with lightweight incat inchy oil, penetrates deep and repairs the look and feel of overstyled hair, reducing the risk of breakage. Damaged hair becomes silky and full, safe for colour treated and chemically treated hair. Um, yeah, he bought me back two of these and I used them like normal conditioner because I just wanted to get rid of them because I really, really did not enjoy using them. Um, I won't rebuy really them again to be quite honest with you. They weighed my hair down and made them look made it look greasy. I've never had a conditioner do that before. I've had like trouble with conditions where they don't suit my hair type. I have thick, in fact very thick, curly, like wavy curly, not like corkscrew curls, but curly enough to be a menace. <laughs> thick coloured hair. This is recently being coloured. Um, because it was blonde before, don't know if you noticed, <laughs> in not my last video but my video before and um, these, I like John Frieda as a range, I think they do some brilliant products but these just weren't suited to me, they made my hair feel really really sort of ugh, like, um, just, it, it just didn't do me any favours um, but I'm glad I tried them, I've glad I've used them up, they're gone now, bye <laughs> You know, I'm sure they'd be brilliant for someone with different hair to mine and I've attached myself to my cardigan, but at the moment they didn't do any They didn't do me any favours. The next thing is this Herbal Essences Beautiful Ends Split End Protection Shampoo. I did blog about this. Um shampoo is just shampoo in my opinion. I've used it all up or I've used the majority of it up. I think there's still a tiny bit at the bottom. Um, for mid to long hair, my hair is now short, so I don't really need the beautiful ends bit. Um, but I can't wait to try some of the other herbal essences products because I had did have a good experience with this, so I did like it, and I would recommend it for anyone who likes to smell like raspberries because it does smell awesome. Like I don't really like floral scents, but this is like a fruity floral, and yeah, I really really enjoyed using this. Um, and the next thing is, oh no, I'll do the next hair thing. This is another John Frieda thing. This is the John Frieda Collection Frizzies Creme Serum Night and it's the overnight repair formula. I genuinely adore this product. I will repurchase it. I can't wait to repurchase it in fact, because what you do is you squeeze some out. You don't need a lot. You put it on the ends of your hair or like what I do, which is put it all over your hair and then leave it on overnight. It doesn't leave residue on the pillow. It, it, you get up the next morning, you wash your hair and your hair is silky soft. It protects you from having to put ends and things. I re To nourish and repair damaged dry frizzy hair. I love this. I know that there are bloggers out there that hate it, can't stand it. I think everyone has to try it at least once to get their own opinion on it. I personally love this. I use it at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Um, 
I love it. I really genuinely love it. In fact, I have put it on my hair and gone to work with it in before now. Um, and no one said anything apart from, oh, doesn't your hair look glossy? So <laughs> I can't recommend this highly enough. Uh, I think it was 6 99 $5.99. Yeah, I really, really like that. And um, I will be getting some more. So that's that. And then we have the... Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover for all skin types. Mm. Well, this wasn't technically finished. Dave knocked it over in the bathroom and then proceeded to try and hide it from me because he thought, oh no, she's going to go mental. Oh no, it's so expensive, it's Estee Lauder because he's finally realised that Estee Lauder is a high-end brand. <laughs> thing was this was a free gift with purchase and I must have had it over a year and then I opened it and started using it and I found out I didn't really like it it made my eyes sort of itchy um and to be honest it was just it was just an eye makeup remover I prefer to get a gel cleanser for my eyes if you've got any sort of um recommendations for me please let me know this was all right. I wouldn't go out and repurchase it. I certainly wouldn't go out of my way to sort of find it again. But it was, as makeup removers go, it was all right. It just made my eyes itch a little bit towards the end of its shelf life. Um, but I have sensitive eyes anyway, as I discovered with the Balance Me Extra Care Wonder Eye Cream. I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, so I won't be repurchasing this. But if you have any recommendations for me, please let me know. And then the last thing, I told you this was going to be a quick video, I'm really sorry. Uh, the last thing is the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. And this actually didn't get used more than twice before it went crappy. And I am going to say crappy because it, that's what it deserves. In fact, it deserves a lot stronger word than that. But for £1.50, what can I really say? Plus with e.l.f. I've sort of realised that you get good batches and you get bad batches. This was obviously a bad batch, it has no pigmentation, it, go, it dries out so quickly. The colour isn't really that brown, it's sort of a dark, muddy, blacky colour, which is not good enough for me. I won't repurchase this. Saying that though, you know, if you want a brown eyeliner and you want to try something out or just to mess around with the look before you, before you bother to get it, then I would suggest getting this, playing around with it and then chucking it. Um, and hoping with your fingers crossed that you get a good batch because if you don't get a good batch you'll get something like this which is useless and therefore in the empties because even though I've only used it twice it's used up god I went through that quite quickly but then there wasn't a lot was there apart from the fact that the toothpaste was in there and I didn't mean to put the toothpaste in there and I have a strong feeling that Dave thought that this bag is now the rubbish bin so god knows what we're going to find in it next month so um they were my november empties mostly hair care and one makeup item and makeup remover but hopefully next time i'll have more to talk about because i'm going to try and be using my samples up through december so uh i shall see you all next time round thanks a lot for watching if you could subscribe for me i think it's here but it could be there i'm not sure and go and take a look at my blog for me which is down here somewhere um then I would be very, 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 very grateful. Thank you very much. Okay, so I will see you all soon and hopefully with some more beauty talk to chat to you about too. See you later. Bye.